Art Attack is sponsored by Pridstick. This is an Art Attack? This is an Art Attack? This is Art Attack! <laughs> there. Oh, are you like me? You can never find a place to put down a wet paintbrush when you're painting. Ah, <laughs> there it is. What you need is a wide mouth frog brush holder. <laughs> Come and have a look at this. To make your froggy brush holder you need some of this stuff. This is self-hardening clay and you can get it from toy and craft shops and it's brilliant because it's modelling clay that hardens by itself. You don't need to bake it and with one bag you can make loads of stuff. So just tear off a handful and roll it into a nice soft smooth ball. This is already soft in the studio lights. And then just place the ball down like that and then take your paintbrush and just very carefully push your paintbrush down into the front of that ball to create the frog's mouth. And you need to push it far enough down so that the clay holds the brush and it doesn't fall out. Then just roll it about a bit just to open up the mouth and then take it out and take another piece of clay and roll that into a smaller ball this time. Place that down and then just flatten it into a circular disc like that. Then take a ruler and just chop the top third of that disc. Just roughly the top third, doesn't need to be accurate. And then turn your ruler around and chop it in half the other way. So that you now have two big back feet for your frog and two smaller front feet. Then to create the sort of frog's webbed feet effect, just make small indentations into the clay with the side of your brush on its edge like this. And then just very carefully lift the ball up, turn it over with the mouth at the front and just dab on some water onto the underside and this will act as a sort of glue on the clay so that you can then stick on those feet and put the two big back feet on the back sticking out to the side and the two smaller front feet can go on just underneath the mouth and you need to be very careful with this. You can take some time doing it. I'm just doing it quickly to show you here and just put that last one in there like that and then very carefully turn it back over and put it to one side. Then take another piece of clay and roll it into a sausage that's a bit longer than one of your fingers and just very loosely bend that over in half and then just slip this in the gap between one of those big back feet and the body. Just poke it in with your finger or the brush. Again, you can take some time doing this. I'm just doing it really quickly to show you and put plenty of water in to glue it in. And then do the same on the other side, another sausage of clay and just fold that over and squeeze that in between the other back foot and the body. And there you have two big back legs on your clay frog just like a real frog. And then just roll two smaller balls of clay and a dab of water on the top. And you have two great big froggy eyes. And it's great that this water just acts as a glue. And then put the whole thing to one side to dry. And it may dry overnight, it may take a little bit longer than that. But when it's dry, look at that. The self-hardening modeling clay has self-hardened and it's actually gone rock solid. Look at that. And then paint it and you can paint it using poster paint or acrylic paint. And it's a good idea to start with to paint it a nice froggy green. I'll just slot that on there just to show you. And then you can paint on some detail when the whole thing is green. And there's mine. Look at that. What I've done here is I've painted some spots on on the front on the back. I've given some nice wide eyes. I've even painted his mouth, his wide mouth red, and I've picked out all that detail in felt tip pen. And there he is, and you can use him to stand your wet paintbrush when you're painting, 
or you could even put a pen in it when you're writing to stop your pen from rolling around. And you could even do them in a different colour. What about this one? There's a red one there with sort of blue spots. And you could use different types of modelling clay. I like the self-hardening, but this is the stuff that you bake. Be careful with that when you're using it, though. And this is just the ordinary soft modelling clay that you can get. And how about your own favourite dough recipe? There's loads of those in books. And you could even invent your own little creature. That's a bumblebee. But again, you must do a nice wide mouth. Try it yourself. A wide mouth frog brush or pen holder. Hello, it's the head here. Oh, they're such a dinky little idea. And to make one, all you need to do is roll a handful of your chosen clay into a ball. Press a paintbrush or pen in to make a mouth. Press a smaller ball of clay into a flat disc and use it to make four webbed feet. Add some legs, make two balls for eyes, let it all set and paint it. And you'll have your very own friendly froggy pen or paintbrush holder. Arr, arr.